Hey you guys, Zach from WaveRiders14 and today I will be showing you how to make this awesome intro. Alright, pretty sweet, right? You want to learn how to make it? That's good, because if you didn't, then you wouldn't have clicked on it. So, let's begin. You're going to want to insert a video track and text media. And I don't know why, but I prefer this font. It's pretty nice. Where is it? There it is. All right. So then we will go to the properties and make sure that your alpha is zero. You can also change it to alpha by just moving this one all the way down, and it's a zero. You're like, oh no, where'd my text go? Well. You can go to media generators, solid color, or whatever. Just add a color. And then you still can't see it, but that is because you have to, bam, outline. There you go. Mine's going to be black. Change the width and the feathering. That looks pretty good. Okay. And then we don't need this anymore, but we'll just leave it there for now. We'll change this. Start it off really small. And then... Right there. And then go to the end. Let's we'll restore it to that size. And then right there, we want it to fade off into the distance like that and I just remembered that it is five seconds long and that's kinda long for an intro so we want it at the four second mark so now we gotta remake these oh perfect okay That looks great. Alright, so then we can delete the red. And I am using stock footage from Video Copilot's Action Essentials. And this is Atmosphere 4. And we'll just drag that down to that one. And that's what that looks like. Pretty nice. But, of course, it's, you notice it's kind of low, so we'll just move it to the middle. Right there. That's good. So, and then, you're probably wondering how, you got, how I got the red in there. Well, we're going to insert a video track, move it all the way to the bottom, and then just put in a red, and... It's kind of dark, gave it more of an eerie feeling, I guess you could call it. And then, what you want to do is make it a compositing child to the smoke. And then, you want to click the compositing mode button on the fog effect, and change it from source alpha to hard light. And that's what gives it the red. Uh, a little choppy, but you get the point. Okay, so then what you want to do is you notice how uh, you don't really get to see the full wave riders till like right about there, which is kind of far in. So we are going to now if you're in Sony Vegas, what is it, Platinum Movie Studio, then you won't be able to do this, but you can kind of just put like I don't know there you push the S key which will split it and then hold control and then just do that and it'll fast forward it but if you have you it's you'll, you'll get kind of the same effect but it won't be as good as if you do tools video no, just kidding. Insert, video envelopes, envelopes, whatever. 
event velocity. You'll get this green line and be like, whoa, what's this green line doing here? Well, you want to go to, I'll go about right there. Move this all the way up. Not all the way. That's good. And then right click on the line, add a point. And then that's fine right there. And then you can right click again and add point. And we'll go down to uh, right there. We can probably move it out a little bit just to give it a more gradual slow down so it kind of speeds up, speeds up, and then slows, and then constant. And then you can move this out, and then wherever this arrow is, that indicates where the end of the film is, and then it'll just go into loop after that. So you can just cut that off right there. And then, you, boom, it slows down, looks nice. And then, for the text, you can do video effects. This always looks good. Gaussian blur, Gaussian blur. I really don't know. All the videos I've watched, nobody can. Pr everybody pronounces it differently. So and we'll go to. It starts fading away at 3:15. So we'll go to the keyframe right before it. Just add a point, and then we'll go to the four-second mark and just kind of give it a blur as it fades out. looks nice. So then you can right click on it, copy, and then paste it. Make sure you do a new copy instead of a reference copy because if you do a reference it'll change like whatever change you make to the copy will also affect the original. So you want to make sure you do new copy. Then you can change it to presents So then you got Oh, it looks nice. All right, so then we can drag this to the end and drag this to the end. Then we'll put a little fade. A minute. It's probably good. Or a second. A minute. Yeah. That'd be a little long of a fade. And then because the way it's set up, as soon as, because this is on alpha, so you only see what the smoke is showing. So if the smoke fades, then the whole thing fades. So that looks nice. You could probably actually even do, just fade the red and it'll all fade also. But, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. So, there you go, that looks pretty good. And uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, leave me a comment or send me a message, and I'll do my best to help you out. And uh, I'd like if you if this tutorial did help you, I would like you can post a uh, video response, and I will watch your work, see how it looks, and uh, you can leave me a message or something, because I really don't know what other tutorials I can make. So just help me out. Tell me what you need to learn. And uh, thanks for watching.